So hello gamers, today I'm going to be showing you some of the worst conversions in all of Phantom Forces. Make sure to like, let's go for a thousand likes on this video. But yeah, let's get into it because there are a lot of conversions in this game, like at least a hundred. There's got to be more than a hundred and some of them are really good and some of them are very bad. But let's just jump right into it with the number one, the first conversion here, 357 SIG on the Vector. Let me tell you, I have like 1800 kills on the Vector. As you can see from before, I pre-bought this conversion just now, but I've used it a lot. Was that in the test place when I recorded my video with it they like wipe my data since i don't know dude it literally unpre-bought the conversion because i've used the conversion plenty of times basically the 357 conversion it did get a buff somewhat recently past couple months but basically what it does to your vector is it gives it a little bit more damage two more up close and actually like four more at range it becomes a two shot headshot and a five shot at range and it gives it a bit more velocity however it gives it a 17 round mag and a lot of recoil. The recoil is kind of annoying, but it's not too bad. The reason it's very bad, and I talked about this in my vector guide video, is that it doesn't actually make your reload time faster, even though you lose a full nine bullets in your magazine. And this thing actually dumps the entire mag, even with a plus one in less than one second. So this is really inconvenient. The empty reload time is like 3.3 seconds or something stupid. And yeah, it's just not overall a good conversion. You're still a three hit kill up close. You might two shot headshot, but with the recoil, probably not too often. And a five hit kill at range is nice if you can actually use it at range, which before it was really good at range because pretty low recoil, especially for a 45, 25 rounds, pretty fast velocity overall this is not a good conversion i like it it's actually nice i think it should just make your reload time faster and then it might be pretty decent but the fact that you have this reload time for 16 bullets it's just not that's not even fair that's just ridiculous you know but it's still the vector so it's still pretty good now our second conversion is one you might not even know exists you've heard of 40 conversions ump 40 really nice but have you heard of the ump 40 ump 540 what the heck you're probably wondering what is the upside of this it lowers your velocity it lowers your damage but it makes your recoil slightly better but you have a four hit kill up close instead of a three hit kill up close worse velocity worse min damage and the thing is it doesn't even have good recoil so this is literally just an mp10 but worse worse rpm still worse recoil worse velocity yeah it does actually have a little bit more cqc damage but it's not even a problem because the mp10 is just better it's better ranges better velocity literally everything about the mp10 is better just use the mp10 it's so good recoil is still kind of strange and this is like a comp stubby loadout this is like a Full on and Kusaku. This is like a full on try to remove all the recoil of this gun kind of setup. I don't know. It's just I don't see the upside of this. Don't don't use this conversion. If you want this conversion, how about just use the MP10 or the MP5? Uh, they both do this better. The MP5 even has a three hit kill up close and just like less recoil, more velocity, and just this is not a good conversion. It's nice. It's decent. Like it's not the worst conversion ever, but it's definitely one up. Next up is probably one of the most profoundly bad conversions that could have been fixed in updates multiple times. And that is, of course, 338 Norma conversion. Now, TRG-22 could have been what this is. Basically, what this does is it lowers your velocity by quite a bit, your damage ranges by quite a bit, and your min damage by quite a bit. And you know what the upside of this is? Not more RPM. Nope. Nope. It is more reload speed. Yeah. So basically, you have a really bad gun that doesn't even shoot faster. Guess what else is a kind of like not even bad a, a conversion that gives you a 10 round magazine like the same reload time but double the capacity literally gives you 10 more or no like 15 what am i talking about? i guess you like 20 more rpm what i'm trying to say here is just use trg 22 in the past couple months like the same update that they buff sig conversion they actually buffed norma but norma is bad like they buffed it because i told them hey norma sucks it does make your aiming speed better but literally just use trg 22 you have 60 rpm 60 rpm and 10 bullets that is so good like trg 22 is one of the best snipers in the game right now and yeah don't use this this is bad this is actually also on the awm probably even worse it lowers your max range from 60 to 42 and your min range from 140 to 126 and it gives you worse velocity than the aws <laughs> so oh, this is bad it only makes your reload time faster i i don't even know if it makes your aiming speed better listen all I'm saying is Norma is really bad. Don't use Norma. I mean, you can use it if you want, like maybe faster aiming speed, faster reload times, but like literally just use a different sniper at that point. This has a pretty dookie torso kill range. When you think about it, if you want like a 50 stud torso kill range and 2,500 velocity, just use the AWS. There's literally a gun for that. Um, yeah, I, I don't understand. If this made your bolting speed faster, maybe it would be good. Problem is the AWS has faster bolting speed, so... 
Like, there's no reason for this to really exist because they added another gun that does the same thing. Norma is weird. I don't know how it even got into the game like this. It makes no sense. I wish it was better, but it's not. Just don't use it unless they make it better. Oh yeah, also the op. What am I talking about? The op is the same thing. It even has more velocity. Next up, we actually have BFG.17 Wildcat, which almost could be very, very good for one specific purpose that it can't actually fulfill. This has no pen and it deals 50 to 47 damage. So the BFG can actually three hit kill with this conversion unless you hit the head. And if you don't hit the head, it doesn't kill anybody, but it actually makes your reloading time faster, which is cool. Basically, you can't torso kill. It'll generally be like a two shot kill unless you hit the head, but it has laser high velocity. The thing about this is that the default BFG already has 3000 velocity, which in 99% of scenarios, if you don't even get a headshot, you will still hit the torso, which will still kill because it's the BFG and it already kills to the torso at any range, which means that this conversion would be nice on a gun that didn't have one bullet. Yes, I think it's actually on some of the other 50 cal snipers and maybe it's better on those because they don't have one bullet. But speaking purely off of the BFG, this is really not a great conversion. It would be really nice at like 500, 600 studs away, but that's physically impossible on most of the maps in the game. Even on the maps that it is possible, it's like not even feasible because you can get like 3000 studs away on rig, but I think you have to hack like people. I don't know how they get over there, but it's just not even possible. And up until that range, it's not really that great to use BFG Wildcat. So I just don't recommend use it, but it's pretty cool. If you want a really trash gun or if you want people to pick up your BFG and literally not be able to kill you, that would be pretty cool. It's a pretty cool conversion though, because you can literally just eviscerate a guy if you hit the head. BFG Wildcat user actually gets kills, not clickbait. Next up is actually a carbine shotgun. The jury is really, really good. It's been nerfed. It used to be like the best shotgun in the game. Now it's not so much the best shotgun in the game, but it's pretty good. However, it has this funny thing called rubber pellets. And you might be thinking, it does 58 damage. That's a two pellet kill. That must make it really good. Until you see the torso multiplier is 0.3 times. Instead of doing 36 with flechette, it will actually do 17 0.55 and it does seven damage at range which actually means it does 2.1 damage a pellet so if you hit every single pellet to the torso at range which is never going to happen it will actually be able to do 12.6 damage that is awesome that's like a nine shot kill and it only has five bullets so yeah this conversion could almost be good if it didn't have any kind of multipliers, even if it didn't have any kind of multipliers, like it didn't have a reverse torso multiplier, it would still not be that great. But in this case, it's physically like, I don't even know if you can one tap if every pellet hits the torso. I don't know if you can. Basically, it sucks. If the torso hitbox was smaller and the limb hitbox was actually pretty nice, maybe this would be good, but you have to physically aim for the legs, I guess, or maybe the arm if that's possible. Although the legs is probably easier. Either way, just don't use this conversion. It's bad. It's not really good at all. There's really nothing going for it this thing except the fact that it does funny 2.1 damage at range i think that's kind of funny but other than that just don't use this thing man if you want high damage the exotic slugs ammo type can actually one pellet kill to the torso up close and has two pellets and it still has five what Dude, I actually wallbanged accidentally. Yeah, I don't know. The jury is cool and all. I feel like Zonic Slugs is actually kind of meta on this thing, not gonna lie. If you can hit both pellets. Next up is one that I actually see quite a bit for no reason. It's 2 to 3 on the FAMAS. This gun goes from being a 3 to a 5 hit kill to being a 4 to a 6 hit kill. And the only upside is better recoil, which is barely existent. Like, 2 to 3 Remington is not that big of a difference on recoil. And if you want a lower recoil... I guess don't use this gun like this is just bad it has 900 rpm and it's a four shot kill like you could use the k1a at this point and it would literally be better because same hits to kill same rpm but 30 round mag faster reload time faster handling better recoil there's no reason to use this i think the reason that people get away with using this is that it is the famas and the famas is really really good 900 rpm four hit kill is nice overall you wouldn't even find it that bad the problem with that is that you don't find it that bad even though objectively it's a lot worse so yeah just don't use this maybe try checking out g2 conversion and 223 because that's not too bad although i wouldn't really recommend that because you know 223 overall kind of is bad for your damage i'm not gonna lie it's still gonna make it a six hit kill at range but at least the g2 is already a four hit kill so it doesn't affect your max damage hits to kill and the fact about this is that it has a three hit kill and you want to keep that because that's like one of the biggest upsides is high rpm three hit which not a lot of like 
assault rifle type guns with 20 men can do that. All I'm saying is the FAMAS is special. It's a cool gun. I don't want you guys to ruin the FAMAS with using an ammo type that's not good on it. I think this is maybe the worst 223 gun even before they removed all the extended mags except for like two of them. Along that same vein, the AUG-A2 does exactly the same damage as the FAMAS, but it shoots slower, so it's even worse to have 223 on it. Not much to be said here. It just takes more hits to kill. And with a slower rate of fire, you're gonna probably notice this even more. Another one that is probably one of the worst conversions in the game, and it's not too bad, but it has a previous reputation of being very good, is 300 blackout on the G36K, which I do have almost 800 kills on from before it got nerfed. It used to give your gun basically the same hits to kill, but really insane ranges, a two hit kill head, and a really far three hit kill. It was really broken. It did 38 to 17 instead of 34 to 19, which is the same hits to kill, except a two hit kill head, a better three hit kill range. It was really broken, but then they completely rebalanced it. So now instead of doing 38 to 17, it does 33 to 24. The problem with this is that it is literally just a really bad version of the G36. The G36 is literally just this, but way better max damage range. This has a 35 stud max damage range, literally like a thousand more velocity and better range performance overall. But yeah, the G36K is a really, really good carbine. I do recommend it, but do not use it with 300 blackout because overall, if you want all the upsides of using this gun, you're not going to want to use 300 blackout anymore. If you want 300 blackout and you want better damage because of it, use it on the G36C. It's really good on the G36C, but not on the K. It's okay on the K. I want to put it in the list just so you guys understand that it's not that great. 24 min is pretty cool, and the min damage range is actually pretty far. The G36K is just a better version of it. Another conversion I would say is pretty bad, not really necessary at all, is the MP5 burst grouping. Now, the thing about the MP5 is that it's very, very accurate. And with burst grouping, it gets more accuracy. The problem with that is that it becomes a burst with a burst delay, and the damage is not that great, and the three hit kill range is like two studs away. So basically, you can't actually one burst people, which makes the burst delay just a problem, you know? You don't want to burst it, and the thing is, it's already so accurate that you don't need a burst. It really just changes how your gun works, but if you want more accuracy, it's not awful. Just maybe use it on the MP510. Because on that, it's not trash but let me know if you guys use this i was asking this on stream and nobody actually responded so maybe nobody actually uses this because there's like 100 people in the stream and nobody's like i use the mp5 with burst grouping it's not terrible but this is it without burst grouping it is this is with plus p by the way it is very accurate you do not need a burst grouping conversion to make it good this conversion was so bad i even forgot that it was in the game the vss ventores was 762 this is a weird conversion it gives you a 20 round mag and lowers damage by a lot this gun goes from being a two hit to a two hit to a three hit to maybe a four maybe a three hit at range and you get a 20 round mag but less rpm and why? Like, I don't know. There's no reason to really use this conversion. I mean, you get a 20 round mag and all, but it doesn't one shot headshot. It actually does pretty bad range damage. It actually has pretty generic multiplier. The SA58 is basically that same RPM, same capacity, but one shot headshot and two shot body. And it's funny because this was going to be a conversion on the ace Val, although it was going to have different stats. However, they removed it because it was just not what they wanted, a little bit too generic, and it actually kind of made the gun the old ace Val. This just. The other one was going to be automatic, okay? This one is just not good. Do not use 7.62 on the VSS. There's no reason to. I think the final one we'll go over is Beowulf TCR with 4.58 SOCOM, although I wouldn't say this is awful. This is probably one of the lesser conversions in the game, because basically what this does is gives your gun a 20 round magazine and lower recoil, but pretty bad damage. It is a two hit kill limb, but only to a very short range, and can one shot headshot to like 30 studs, which isn't that far. But you do have a 20 round mag and stuff. It's just that like normally you have about 100 studs, one hit kill head also you can two shot kill torso at any range and this is actually like a four hit kill maybe a three hit kill if you're hitting torsos as well so overall it's not an amazing conversion yeah i wouldn't really recommend it at all although it's kind of like a sa58 chain it's definitely better than the vss with 762 it's literally just a better version of that anyways gamers if you guys did enjoy make sure to like and sub that is in my opinion some of the worst conversions in the game let me know your opinions on this in the comments but i will see you guys in the next one peace